I mean, I always have real goals for Clay. Um, they might be different than someone else's, but for me, it's just feeling more and more comfortable every single year. Um, and, you know, again, just having the little, the little improvements that I can see. Um, and I mean, obviously, I'm not going to look over all of Clay Court, so I'm excited for it. Um, going in with the right mentality, and hopefully it goes swimmingly. Madison, we're doing a story on what it takes to be successful, and you, you're obviously a very successful person. What would you, what kind of advice would you give to a high school student, whether they're an athlete or uh, have other career plans on what it takes to be successful? Um, I think it just takes hard work and dedication. Um, I mean, if you really love what you do, it's a lot easier to be dedicated to it, but even when you love it, some mornings you don't want to get out of bed or you don't want to study for that test that you know you're supposed to be studying for. And, you know, it's one of those things where when you have success, you look back on all those days that you did it when you didn't want to get out of bed and when you didn't want to do something, and it just makes it so much better. Oh. Madison, um, haven't seen you uh, in person forever in a day. Uh, those people are so good. <laughs> You're a million miles away from the Australian Open Wild and the US Open Wild. What is it like now to be a C, to see your face blaster everywhere in the US Open here in Charles? Um, lots of early morning practices, lots of time in the gym, um, but you know, just really, just really working hard and being dedicated to it, and you know, just being out there every day and continuing to love what I'm doing. Let me ask you a little bit of a loaded question: Are you where you thought you would be, or are you even in a little bit better place? Do I have to answer a question when you state it as it's a loaded question? <laughs> I feel like you're setting me up for a terrible that, I don't think answer. It's that loaded. It wasn't loaded. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was a little nervous when you Stop started now. that question. Oh my god. Um, don't scare us. Yeah. No, I'm nervous now. Um, you know, I definitely did not think that I was going to be in the semifinals this year in Australia. Obviously, I go into a tournament wanting to do that every week, but it's, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. So, I'm definitely happy where I am and happy with the success that I've had, but I um, want to just keep getting better and better and, you know, to where a semifinal Grand Slam is kind of routine. Do you feel like it's come easy since then or harder than you expected? Did you expect it once you made a semi beating you know, a bit of a Venus? You're like, oh yeah, this must be every week. This is my thing now. I just, I just a giant player, unstoppable person. No, I wasn't really thinking that. Um, it's actually kind of gone similar to what I thought. I knew it was going to be tough. Um, I mean, you go from someone who, you know, it's like, oh, she could win, but she could also lose. It's a tough match. And then all of a sudden I go in and now it's, you know, I'm the seed or I'm the person that's supposed to win. And it's the first time I've had to deal with that. So it's, you know, there's been some ups and downs, but, you know, kind of trying to find my footing and, you know, hopefully get through it as quickly as possible. And then be like, oh, yeah, I just win matches all the time now. That's what I do. All I do is <laughs> Not there yet. <laughs> 